Alrighty. Whoops. Wow. I can't believe I just did that. Hello, hello, hello. This is Katsuban Koyan. Welcome to my corner of the internet. Let's play Super Mario World. Um, I decided to go with, a, with an old classic today. I guess it's sort of the, the comfort food of um, Mario games, you could refer to it. Um, I fixed my volume here a little bit so it's not super loud for me in my room. <clears throat> so, um, had a had a pretty long weekend, and um, I've got uh, a couple of weeks coming up, coming up where I'll be off again, so I wanted to pick something just light and fun and easy to just um, just enjoy playing and not get super engrossed in some kind of heavy-duty RPG or something like that right before I get me off. So here we are. I think I'm going to just race my Mario one here. Oh, I think I'm going to race all my things. Alright, start things off. Gasp! Welcome! This is Dinosaur Land! In this strange land, we find that Princess Toadstool is missing again! Gasp! Looks like Bowser is at it again! I'm sure none of us saw that coming. It's interesting how you... I thought that um, they'd already named the Princess um, Peach by the time this game came around, but I guess not. Still has her listed as Toadstool, so... Here we are on, I guess, Yoshi's Island, which is very, very different from the eventual Yoshi's Island that we see. I believe it is still Yoshi's Island. Whoa! Sorry, I'm not home, but I've gone to rescue my friends who were captured by Bowser. Yoshi. Pa. So, this is, however, the first game where we will meet Yoshi. Um, this is also, this was the debut game for the Super Nintendo. So, I believe, is this, okay, this is one. Alrighty, whoops, wow. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I was all confident about, oh, classic game, no problem. I'm just gonna go for it and be awesome immediately from the word go. And then I jumped into a giant bullet. As you do. No, I don't know if it's Dinosaur Land, I suppose they said in the intro, but we never see these guys that I know of in any other game. Like, this was to... I guess this was to be the new Goomba enemy, but... They sure didn't stick to it. This is you now they picked something that has, um... Double hits. And that pipe back there looks like a launch pipe, but... Maybe it's from here. I bet it is. Oh, or not. Often the purple pipes are the ones that you can go down, but this also introduces the spin jump mechanic to break through stuff. This is a really... This is a really classic game. I think um, Super Mario World in general introduced a lot of mechanics that we end up seeing in later games. I am curious about that earlier launch pipe, though. Launch pipe. Launch pipe. I guess not. I guess it's just an angled pipe for aesthetics. This guy's gonna get back here. No, okay. I hit that. It's just probably gonna tell me about the tape. Oh, no, it's not. You can hold an extra item in the box at the top of the screen. To use it, press the select button. Not what you can, which is another thing that was awesome and new. Woo! Ooh, big change. But another thing that was awesome and new about this game. The, um, oh god. The item storage up at the top, which was pretty cool. Let's see. Pick up shell. Gun with the carrying things. Only there's carrying things in Mario 3. Use the X or Y button. Throw a shell upwards. Look up and let go of the button. That part was new. The upward um, throw. So really, a while back, I don't remember when it was, I picked up this game again. And it just really struck me how much of a masterpiece this game is. Um, it looks great, it plays great, it's got new abilities, but it's it, it's got a lot of stuff that builds off of old abilities um, and old things that you were able to do in the earlier Mario games. 
so it's not all foreign and different um but there's a there's plenty of new stuff and there's these guys who are the worst and i hate them eat my fireballs <laughs> So, this is a great launch game for the Super Nintendo. Um, a very familiar feeling game, but with new, new mechanics and new features that really showcase the capabilities of the new console. We have this Yellow Switch Palace, which is a fun new thing at this point. So the what I noticed about the Switch Palace is, is there's always a way to get a one up in all of these. So this first one, it's as easy as just getting 100 coins. Wee. Coins, 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 coins. I got a few guys. <clears throat> so we still have the speed run from uh, Mario 3, but the flying situation is going to be slightly different. Which we have not encountered yet. Doot. Like I do with most of my stuff, I'm going to end up, I guess, pretending that people watching this have no idea, I've never seen this game before, which obviously is totally not the case. Everybody knows this game, everybody loves this game. It's probably one of the most well-known games in the history of gaming, honestly. Alright, so, in level one, oops, that was stupid. Could have done the turtle topping thing, but I didn't. Because I forgot, and I killed that turtle. Oh, it gave it to me anyway. Ha, I guess they were enough. Um, oops. <laughs> so in the first level, we got the classic, um, firepower Mario. Now we have Yoshi! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me! My name is Yoshi! Yoshi! Uh, this is Cat. Hi, your name is Milo. On my way to rescue my friends, Bowser trapped me in that egg! No, alright, cool. Nice to meet you. Bye. <laughs> Alright, are you gonna make a pain of, uh, in the butt out of yourself? Alright. Little touch that I that I always loved about this is when you're riding Yoshi, it adds this funky bass line to the background music. So, it's gone if you get off him, but it has like this sort of like faux bongo drum pattern that is behind you when you're on Yoshi. Do a spin jump, press the A button. Super Mario can... S Dude. Cat. Move. Move it, cat. Thank you. <laughs> I could I could anchor this down or something, but I always seem to have to adjust it a little bit, depending on where exactly I end up sitting. So that's why it's loose like that, and Milo keeps bumping it. Anywho, a Super Mario can spin jump, can break some of the blocks, and defeat some of the tougher enemies, as we saw in the first thing. Move your furry little butt. These hint blocks, I think, is also new to this game. I think this is probably where you were starting to back. They were starting to back away from trying to put everything in the manual, and um, started putting hints right in the game. And here we're getting all the demonstration of having different things here for Yoshi to eat. Green shell just stays a shell. Ah, uh, eat my shell. Eat my shell. Tell me about the tape. This gate marks middle its area. Cutting the tape here, you can continue. Yeah. It's a checkpoint, which is definitely well no. There were there were halfway restarts in the earlier games, um, but you didn't know where where they were. So in this case, you've got a marker that shows you that. Right. They're also telling me about the spin jumps so that I know how to get off of Yoshi. Yoshi cannot climb vines. <clears throat> This is a piece of cake. This game is super easy. At least at the, towards the beginning. You know. um, yeah, in general, just the, the new stuff that they came up with in this game that builds off of the old stuff was just um, a wonderful example of really solid game design. Okay, whoops. Get more upward throwing stuff. I don't actually know what it is I'm trying to hit here. Oh, cool, I got it back. More upward practice. Oh, it, it died. The block died. Whoopsie. 
Hey, one up. Do -do -do -do. I'm probably gonna play this a lot more thoroughly than I would if I was playing it on my own, since I'm playing it for. Oops. Since I'm playing it for the stream. All right, that's the best I can do for the moment. Um, I'm gonna be going for 100% on this, which I have accomplished before. There's always a couple of secret spots that I have a hard time remembering how to get. Ah, screw you. I hate those sports guys. I'm gonna be too high for the tape. Nope, I get it. There's a cat behind me. He's lurking again. He's lurking secretly. I've been gone at a convention during the day. Um, over the weekend, I was at 2DCon, helping do promotion for Anime Fusion. The big coins are dragon coins! Those are the ones that- the big ones I've been picking up with Yoshi's face on them. You can't seem to decide if he's a dragon or a dinosaur. Uh, if you pick up five of these in one area, you get an extra Mario, which I did. And because I hit that Switch Palace, I now have these exclamation blocks that would not have been there had I not done so. Which gives me some extra safety in this level. Otherwise, if you fell, you would die. So, these funky, stretchy things. Stretchy things! It's a lot less dangerous because I hit the switch palace. Doo -doo -doo. We still don't have the cape yet. Uh, we got these guys. Ooh. Fire, if you she eats them. I love Yoshi. <laughs> Oops. So again, this is for those of you that know my history, which I am, um, ooh, secret pipe. I think there is ground. Yes, there is. If those weren't there, you would have to hit the pipe perfectly, but. Um, for those of you that know my history, you know that, um, if I ever got to play new games on the new console, I was playing them at my cousin's place. Same is true with this. Um, when the Super Nintendo came out, they traded in their NES and got the Super Nintendo. Oh, come on, you. We played the heck out of this when I would visit them. Ah. Jump high off an enemy if you hold the jump button. I've never been good at that. I suppose this was where I was supposed to practice that, but too bad I didn't. Um, so... We were all very enamored with Yoshi. He's cute. He's fun. Um, and that is how they, um, the, the, the family dogs that we had when I was growing up were, um, whoa, that was a funky glitch. Okay. Were, um, puppies of my, um, aunt and uncle's dogs. And so the, the puppy that we got around this time, whoops, ended up being named Yoshi. You kind of said it for as a joke at first, but then we thought it would be it would actually be pretty cute. So the dog that we had the longest when I was growing up was Yoshi. Oh, Pomeranian. They had Pomeranian, so of course there were actually Yoshi was not little at all. He was very large for Pomeranian, and I'm running out of time because I'm doing all of this screwing around. I don't wanna. Uh... But uh, at the end. Hi, Sleepy. Sleepy Mew. I'm brushy with my hair. Brush, brush. So much purr. So we had Yoshi the dog, who was absolutely named after Yoshi in this particular game. Which is the game that we were playing like crazy when he was born. I don't particularly like fire power in these later games. It's so inferior to the flight abilities and whatnot. You can go down a lot of the purple tubes. That one's sort of a fake out. This land of Pokey. Who may have started in this game. Ah, it's where, where the option of exiting a level came to be. If you finish the level, you can start select out of it not a thing prior to this, I believe. So Yoshi being uh, the obvious primary new mechanic with this game. Um, 
and then most of the rest of the stuff is just little tidbits or stuff that's a variation on previous things. All right, this situation here. Oh, no, well, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, well, whatever. I'm just gonna go for it. Wow, way to choke, emulator. This is the Switch emulator. It still surprises me that... And I, and I, I heard, like, the technical explanation for it at one point... But that despite the fact that you're playing... I missed a coin. Despite the fact that you're playing these games, it just says if I cut the tape, I get stars. Um, on a modern console through emulation, I don't understand why it still has the same choke points as the original hardware. You'd think that that wouldn't be a factor anymore on a new console, emulation or not. So I don't understand that. First castle. Yoshi cannot enter the castle with you. This part happens automatically. It's a little cutscene. You can skip it if you want. But... Yoshi cannot come in the castle with you. Alright. I always thought this this is ingenious. Um, I was super... The last My last playthrough that I was talking about, too, where I got... Um, I was just kind of thinking about what like what a great well-designed game this is and this is just such a cool feature that they came up with and i'm staying on the um the fence here fence net i don't know because if i hit enough turtles i will get one ups because i'm not touching the ground you can also punch them through the wire which is pretty funny He's gonna come around. Kill him. He's coming around. Gonna kill them. All right, there we go. So because I'm killing all these in a row without touching the ground, I get one up for them. You can punch this thing to flip over to the other side of the fence. This is, I just thought this was just such a cool, unique feature of this. Punching them through the fence does not count. Oh, I, I forgot I could have over like this. Hey, he disappeared. Uncool. Oh, I almost forgot which side of the fence that I was on. I got hit right there. One of Yoshi's friends is trapped in the castle by Iggy Hoopa. To defeat him, push him into the lava pool. Thank you for the hint. First, I gotta get there. I got these things. I know they're logs. And this is super random. But there was a... There was an old Sesame Street short about how to make peanut butter. <laughs> and there was this, this part of it where they show peanuts getting smashed by a pair of mallets. And so then the peanut butter is all on the bottom. Those things, these log things, always reminded me of that sketch. I'm talking and being slow. Ooh, can I actually, can I just, oh, I can, I can fireball you off the edge. That's kind of cool. Whoops. You're supposed to just jump him on him and push him that way. Obviously, first boss, not meant to be difficult. Fireball fast enough like this. Oh, come on, man. All right, fine. Oh, that's interesting. So you still um, you still have the old mechanic here of when you get hit, even as Fireball Mario, you become small. You don't get reverted to large Mario. So Super Mario is the... Super Mario is actually the Mushroom Mario. Terminology. Kaboom! Mario has defeated the demented Iggy Koopa in castle, castle number one. That's a fancy title for that castle. And rescued Yoshi's friend, who is still trapped in an egg and stays that way for the entirety of the game, which is kind of bizarre. Together, they now travel to Donut Land. I think I heard this in somebody else's Let's Play, that this is the first game where with that started like the food themes. 
So this game is also the first Mario where you can save. Um, you can only save at significant points. You can save after Switch Palaces, you can save after Fortresses. But you can save, which was new at this point. Um, yeah. This is the start of the food theming when it comes to the different worlds. Aha, okay. I'm gonna miss out on this, so I'm gonna get off you for a second. Wow, whoops. Another nice feature of this game with the advances in hardware and whatnot is stuff doesn't just despawn or disappear when you go off the screen. It stays there until you go back. Which is a thing that could not be done before. No! So, like, Yoshi runs. You can go after him and get him back. Um, I'm gonna die stupidly. He will keep going un yep, until he hits a wall or until... He falls in a hole. Which would not have been the case with earlier hardware. Eat that freaking flower. So let's some of the stuff that they did to give you new abilities um, and makes. Uh, I knew it was going to get hit there. Oh shoot. I wanted that feather, but that happened. Okay. I used to be good at this puzzle, but not anymore. I find this game a really nice balance between, or balance of difficulty. Um, they put in a bunch of, of new abilities and things that do make things easier, but the game is not super easy. Oh, now I'm going to lose my Yoshi. Now I'm going to lose my Yoshi. I'm sorry, Yoshi. I love you. You've been my friend. Super speed up this. And I can do this. This is a feature of the cape. That's why I prefer it to the Tanuki tail. I like doing that. Got sort of a coin heaven thing going on here. But you gotta do the... You gotta do the cape thing! I'm pretty sure I can't go da back down that pipe that I came in from. If I can, I can bring Yoshi back with me, but... This is more Yoshi's where that came from. <laughs> As is the me memed into legend, um, most players regard Yoshi's as disposable. If you gotta, if you need to jump a little bit extra, if you know, you, if you need, need cannon fodder or whatever, you just sacrifice your Yoshi. <laughs> I've always been a lot, a bit more soft-hearted than that. Poor Yoshi. He just wants to be your friend. He believes in you. Yep, so he's still here. Holy games, he would have despawned, yep. But he's, he's gonna be here forever because I cannot take him with me. Sorry, Yoshi. Bye. You have to do this thing where you, like, pound the ground. I'm not good at using that strategically. Good at video games. I'm decent at video games. I'm not good at video games. Holy cow. How far is this? Alright. I'm gonna end up running out of time again because I'm doing all of the screwing around. I'm screwing around a lot more thoroughly than oh I end up way back here, that sucks. I'm screwing around a lot more thoroughly than I usually do. They give you yep. They give you your Yoshi right back. Yoshi cannot eat the sports dudes, so he cannot help with that. They do die if you jump on them enough. Oh. No! No! Yoshi! Oh, well, I gotta go. Sorry, Yoshi. Um, so this is gonna be another Switch Palace. I can't do it right now, because I haven't hit that Switch Palace yet. Aha! Sleepy boy. Sleepy boy. Mew. So this is my one with Super Mario stream. Uh, this is a little tougher when you got the cape because you float down a little bit. Otherwise, if you if you just jump um, in a regular pattern, you can usually hit them all on the same one. 
So, from the level that I just came from, it has a red dot, which means it has more than one exit. So the other exit is the one that we saw, um, where I have to get this, the green switch palace first. That's also a kind of a cool new thing that came up in this game is secret exits. Um, so there were some... Ugh, auto scroll. Not a fan of auto scroll, and I knew I'd misjudge that. Smooth way to go. I really enjoy that you can store an item in this, though. Which I suppose is actually a step back from Mario 3, because Mario 3, you had all sorts of items, um, but you couldn't use them during a, a level. You had to have them equip or use them beforehand. So, some give and take there. You can use items inside a level, but you can only keep one item. Um, what was I saying? Oh, right, Mario 3 did have a few um, secret exits, but not to the extent of this. So, again, with the balance of... Um, I think this is what I can... Oh, later. Again, with the balance of difficulty, um, just being really well done in this game is... More secret exits, but there's a subtle indicator of when there's a secret. Oh, is this the... Nope. Okay. Ugh. I might be able to cape him. Oh, right. Okay, this... So this is another secret exit. It's way simpler than it looks. <laughs> there's a hole right up above me. For the longest, I thought you had to, like, jump up there or run up there and hit the hole. You just have to hit this with this. Oops. They give you a blue shell, because if Yoshi eats that, he can fly. So, they, most of the time, they have it set up so that Yoshis uh, can go with you in some way or another. So we have keyhole. Taking the key. Green Switch Palace. So again with the with the multiple exits. Okay, I always screw this up. Right, what I want to do, I think what I want to do. Let's see if I can do it this time. Oh, yeah. I need that to be right where it was. Those turtles are going to go off the edge in the meantime because I'm taking too long. Oh man! Shoot. I want to try it anyways. Okay. So now, he'll get it, and then he'll kick it, and do that for me. But one of the turtles fell off the edge in the meantime. Otherwise, I would have gotten a 1-up out of that. I tried kicking it down the hole. You can't really do that. Um, so that is the way you're supposed to do it. All right. Green, switch palace. And it does. A switch palace will give you a save point. I have dispensed the green exclamation points into the world! Save. Bye. Bye. Am I making too much noise for you? Dilute. Just realized I didn't set, start my timer. Alright. So. Um. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna do the secret exits as I get to them. So now, to get the secret exit, I have to go back and do this all over again. But I'm gonna do it this way. Well, you better not bump the... Oh, I could have stopped there. Better not bump the camera. Well, I can't do anything about it. Alright, you. Where are you going? Hmm? You gonna stay there? Okay. Actually, eventually, I am gonna hit the wall that I just created with the green blocks. Even if I'm up here. Ah, there's the last one, which I missed. And now I'm not flying anymore. If you time it correctly, or if it, it, with the the um, the cape thing, ah, there it is. Um, you can run, you can fly indefinitely in this game, and I'm gonna super run into this and hit it right there. So there's that secret exit, which gives me a secret stage right here. So before I, uh, well, let's see. You know what? Well, both of these levels kind of suck. 
<laughs> this one because it's a water level and the other one because it's an auto scroll. Um, but while I make up my mind of what I'm going to do there, I'm going to um, take a YouTube episode break. So if you're watching me on YouTube later on, I hope you're enjoying my my beginner's let's play of an extremely old game that everybody has played 50 times. But that's just how I roll. Um, if you're enjoying my content, please uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave a comment if you like. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time.